And as that was being said in Mululu Vihiga County in Makweni, a section of political leaders have expressed their displeasure with a clamor to amend their constitution at the expense of challenges facing the country, accompanying Deputy President William Ruto during a funeral ceremony in Utangwa, Makweni County. The leaders vowed to campaign against the proposed amendments if proper mechanisms will not be put in place to improve the economy, education, and the health COVID-19 pandemic ripples. Ruta insisting the need for a national dialogue to find solutions to the current challenges facing the country, such as unemployment and paralysis in the health sector. It is at the burial of Uncle Tomakweni Senator Mutola Kilonzo Jr. in Mboni, Makweni County, where a section of political leaders called on the BBI proponents to channel the funds aimed for the referendum to cushion parents and learners reporting back to school. Chief wa kikishe wa sasi, hawa watoto wakienda shule, wanaenda kupata chakula. Kama hiyo kitu wakuna, atutai kusikia mambo ya BBI. Kama hiyo kitu wakuna, atutaki kusikia pesa ya kufanya, ya kufanya referendum. Kama hiyo kitu wakuna, atutaki kusikia sauti ingine kwa sababu watoto wa Kenya ni watoto wa kila mtu. The leaders questioning rationale in BBI signature verification exercise by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission saying that parliament had not passed the referendum law. Kwa hivyo IBC inatumia sheria hakuna. Kwa sababu huko National Assembly, huko Senate, Iyo sheria ya BBI haija tolewa ya referendum. Kwa hivyo, hiyo inamaanisha kwamba kuna katiba inaletwa without a process law. On his part, Deputy President William Ruto questioning the vigor to amend the constitution at the expense of election pledges the government promised to the citizens. We have a serious situation in Kenya that requires the input of every citizen in Kenya and every leader in Kenya. And those priorities, lazima tukubaliane. Ni gani inatangulia gani? Ata tukiwa katikati ya mjadala wa mambo ya kubadilisha katiba. Ruto insisting on the need for a national dialogue to find a solution for the problems ailing the country. Katika changamoto tulizonazo, mambo ya maendeleo, uchumi ambao umeenda chini, Watoto wetu wanaosomea chini ya mti. Madaktari wetu ambao hajalipwa wako na matatizo. Janga la corona na kubadilisha katiba. Gani inapaswa kufanyika mbele ya gani? That conversation we must have. Makweni Senator Mutula Kilonzo Jr. revealed that the region was ready to work with the DP on condition that development projects are implemented in the area. We want to be treated as if we are the fourth largest tribe in Kenya. And we are, and we are 4.5 million. Amuta chukua kura zetu, hivotu. Suleiman Yeri, Channel 1 News.